Hello everybody, welcome back to Atlanta to Dallas Aviation. This is part two unboxing the wide bodies. So before I went to Las Vegas, I did the narrow bodies. And so this today's video is uh, part two, the wide bodies. And uh, strangely enough, uh, shortly after I made the narrow body video, I got yet another package that had uh, three more uh, narrow bodies and a wide body, but I'm, I'm going to do those in a separate unboxing, a separate video. Uh, so I'm just going to do the wide bodies that I had planned on doing uh, in the first place. And let's see. So the first one as you can see here is NG's A350-900 of Air China. Registration is Bravo-307 Charlie. And there is your, oops, let me, there is your item number. Uh, so uh, the usual uh, highly artful box, but we're not about the boxes now, are we? We're about the model. So let me get this bad boy open. I have not seen any of the models. I haven't actually seen the models. Just the uh, just the box that they were in. So they're all a surprise to me. Get this bad boy out here. Give it a look and see here. Everything's looking good so far. All right, wonderful. So let's put this bad boy out here. And let's get a good look at this, huh? And we'll start with the 360. Once I get close enough here. All right, Air China. A350-900. This is... Uh, I don't recall if um, I've seen this particular aircraft uh, on the uh, Los Angeles live stream that I watch. Uh, but I don't have... I do have an Air China, but it was a very old one. Um, Matter of fact, I think it might even be a 767-300 or something like that. Uh, so I don't have a modern one. And uh, I just do not remember if I've seen this aircraft on the LAX live stream. But I am trying to get at least a representative of each airline that flies into LAX. So this is one of those. And if I happen to uh, see a model type that Air Channel actually flies in the LAX, if this isn't one of them, I will be sure to get one of those. I don't really plan on doing like a, an LAX uh, airport update or anything. I haven't done any airport updates. Um, that's a lot of work, so um, I'm not quite ready to do airport updates yet. But anyway, all right, so there's the 360. We will lower the camera down a little bit so we can get more on level. And we'll take a closer look at this. All right. Port side. 
Got the uh, Star Alliance logo there behind the cockpit window. L1 door. Uh, the China flag with Air China in small, pretty small font there. And then what is, we assume, says Air China in Chinese. And the registration. And then finally, the bird on the very tall tail there. I think you can also see it on the end of the wing there on the on the winglet. It's not very focused, but uh, it's you can tell it's there. All right, and sorry if you hear any background noise. Uh, there was a main water uh, break uh, on our street and it sounds like they are now uh, sl not sledgehammering but uh, jackhammering the uh, uh, the road outside to get to it so I apologize if you hear uh, too much of that but anyway so that's the Air China A350 we will put him aside we got a lot to go through and my camera only does 30 only does 30 minutes at a time so I really don't want to have to try to try to glue uh, videos together all right so next we have ooh, go out go out Alright, a Lockheed L-1011-200 TriStar, British Airways in the uh, Landor scheme, and this is the special, uh, I, I don't think there's anything special about this, uh, about the livery itself, it's just a special uh, release from NG uh, uh, to celebrate Her Majesty Elizabeth II, who uh, who passed away. Very nice box there. Uh, this registration is Golf dash Bravo Hotel Bravo Romeo. Here is the item number. And let's get into this. Got two Two tri stars uh, on this video today. Uh, okay, this one's being difficult. Sorry. Trying to get to it quickly. Uh, it's looking lovely so far. I love the tri star. Absolutely love this plane. And honestly, I love uh, the lander livery. I almost wish British Airways had stuck with it. Um, well, here's something interesting. My, I'll show it to you. Uh, we got some scratches on the, uh, on the wing surface. Other than that, we look like we're pretty good. All right, so there we go. British Airways L-1011-200. Do our nice 360 here. Wow, 
Uh, I just really always thought the Lander livery was so classy. And I like the... It's funny, in the lighting that I have here, it almost looks like that top part is white rather than uh, the kind of grayish that it actually is. Maybe if my, uh, well, I call him my friend, my friend from yesterday airline can tell me, I'm sure he probably got uh, one of these because I believe it fits his criteria. Maybe he can tell me if uh, for some weird reason the light gray top on this particular aircraft isn't the same as on other land doors because it really does look white. It doesn't look as white as the Air China that I just opened, but it's really light. All right, so let's get this down a little bit to level here so we can do the close-up. All right, cockpit windows and moving back. I do not know what it says just below the cheat line there in the dark blue part. Maybe that is, maybe that's the special sticker. I do not know. There's the good old Rolls-Royce engines with the Rolls-Royce emblem on it. And there's the registration. The very classy uh, 1011 tail with the crown up there on the top looks really nice really really nice all right so we fade out here to get ready for the next one I'll put him aside boy uh, I just knew that they were going to start doing that jackhammering. Oh, you know what? I think I had told you my, uh, so here, I think you can see it. You can see the scratches. Uh, let me get a little pointer here in case you don't really see it. The scratches are right here. But you know what? I'm not too worried about that. Um, it, I mean, doesn't it give it a little bit more realism if there's a little bit of, I don't know, uh, weathering on it? I mean, now I don't necessarily want the uh, manufacturers to start putting out weathered looking models, but... I, I'm not that upset that there's a scratch there. Um, it just makes it look like it's a little bit weathered, that's all. Uh, so it's not really that big a deal. Alright, so moving on to the next one. Uh, well, you know what? I started opening it and I forgot to uh, show you all the box. So sorry, the box is open. So, we have the TWA L1011-200 TriStar. This is the final livery, and it looks really sharp. I, other than the uh, double globe livery, I never was a fan of the double red stripe, or whatever you call it, the double stripe or whatever livery. I never really liked that one, but I love this one. Um, it's, it's too bad uh, it was short-lived, but anyway, so there you have that. Uh, the registration for this model is November 31029er, and there is your item number. 
Okay, now we can get to getting this out of the box. I'm hoping I don't have to make part three, but if I do make a part three, I will probably include the other models that I received shortly after making the uh, the video for part one, the narrow bodies. All right, so here we have our TWA. Get nice and close in for our 360. Looking really nice. Man, NG's got such a nice L1011. And you can bet you I did miss out on one Delta L1011 when uh, NG was first on the scene because uh, partly because their prices were much higher than Gemini Jets at the time. And I was just like, I'm not paying almost $50 for one of these little bitty models. But uh, since then, I have been educated and I've actually seen them for myself. So, uh, I, fortunately, I only missed out, I believe, on one Delta TriStar and I think maybe uh, a Delta 757 uh, in the classic livery. So... That's, that's too bad, but you can bet you anything NG puts out that's in the Delta Classic widget livery, I'm going to get it for now on, from now on. So anyway, there's our 360. Let's get down here so we can get our close-up. All right, so starting at nearly perfect shaped nose. There's the golden globe, if you will. What a very nice font uh, that says Trans World instead of just TWA. That was nice. That was a nice ad. Again, the Rolls-Royce engines, and then TWA as it swoops, as the cheat line swoops up, and you get uh, TWA there, and get the red stripe, a very small little gold stripe, and a very dark blue uh, stripe just before you hit the hot part of the engine, uh, of the number two engine. So there you have the TWA L1011, looking very nice. Alright, so we'll zoom back out on this. I got two more to do with less than 12 minutes to do it in. So. That now brings us to American Airlines seven eight seven dash eight Dreamliner for American Airlines new mold, I believe. This is the first release on this mold for NG. Uh, registration is November 880 Bravo Juliet. And there is your item number. And uh, let's get into this one. Uh, 
All right. All right, looks really nice. I don't see any loose parts, so that's good. This one, evidently, you have to be very careful getting out of the box uh, because there is something that is underneath uh, part of the plastic of the box. So I'm trying to get it out fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, it looks like... Uh, it looks like the one on, on one of the sides did break off and it was already broken off and I do not see it would have been a itty really small piece anyway um, so I don't see it well I'll kind of show you that um, another youtuber already pointed this out on his uh, he got some more uh, he got more of this release and they came with everything intact. But anyway, so let's move maneuver him into position here for the 360. All right. Looking really nice. I'm not a really big American airline fan, but I needed to get some I needed to get some to be able to do a diorama, an airport diorama, so I needed some uh more modern ones. And this livery's kind of grown on me. I I really do miss the bare metal uh look. But because these planes are made of composites now at least the uh, the big airbuses and the and the wide body Boeing's are it's kind of hard you have to actually paint the color on there rather than just having it be bare metal so there's our 360 Get down low here for our close up. All right. There we got the front and the nose gear. Everything looked good there. The billboard American titles with the uh, eagle and swoosh I don't even know what to really call that thing so there's the nice engines with the uh, supposedly noise suppression uh, scallops in the back there's the American flag in the registration along with the stylized flag tail on the back looks super just zoom out here real quick and just show you the little problem uh, so on this one you can see well maybe you can't at least I can't see it um, this little piece right here that I'm pointing to Ah, stop shaking that little piece right uh, and I'm not even in the frame all right so this piece right here there's supposed to be one on this side 
and what you and what you see instead is this little messed up little area right here where it got pulled off somehow so that's disappointing um, yeah it looks like it just broke off and but it's such a small piece um, there's even if it was in the box I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to glue it back on so that is that we got one more to go and I've got less than five minutes so this one is the Lufthansa uh, 7879 Dreamliner there's the box uh, registration is Delta dash Alpha Bravo Papa Delta here is uh, the well if it focuses there is your item number and let's get into this really quick because I don't have a lot of time to mess with this one all right So please forgive me if this uh, video ends before I'm finished uh, showing everything. Uh, I think I can get it in. So here we go. Let's move the American out of, out of here a little bit. Okay. Alright, so the Lufthansa in the newest livery. Uh, 787-9 Dreamliner. Let's start our 360 here. This really would be easier if I had the turntable. I know, stop complaining about the turntable and just get one if you're going to get one. Anyway. Alright, so there's the 360. Let's get down to level here. We'll get our extreme close up. Okay, not too extreme because my camera just doesn't like it. But anyway, so there we go. A little Lufthansa. Uh, crane there just below the cockpit window along with the Star Alliance right behind the cockpit window uh, it does have some sort of name there uh, something about Frankfurt Maine I think maybe you can make it out on your screen but I can't make it out on my little bitty screen there's the engines not a lot to look at here since it's just pretty much a Euro white. Uh, there's your registration, your German German flag and European Union flag. And then there's your very dark blue tail with the colorless crane in circle on the back. All right, so that takes care of part two the wide bodies uh, I will be doing another unboxing video soon like I said I got four other models that I got right after I got these um, and with that I will leave you now and we will see you in the next one